Greetings, mathematicians. Let's add to our table of contents. Uh, this is unit one, lesson 12. It's real world problems. If you want to get that plugged in, and uh, awesomely enough, we are on 12L and 12R for our 12th lesson. And I'm going to go ahead and flip over. If you need to pause, pause. All right. And much like previous installments of this YouTube channel, um, I have some things framed out ahead of time, so feel free to pause as we go to add to your notebook. Don't mind the skittering feet behind me, it's just cats running around. All right, our objective. Unit 1, Lesson 12, Real World Problems. Our objective. I will use estimates to determine whether answers to word problems are reasonable. And that keyword in there is reasonable, and we had talked about this recently, so that means realistic. Can we estimate to see if we can get around the right answer so we know how much we're looking for? So read the objective with me one more time. I will use estimates to determine whether answers to word problems are reasonable. And we can't forget our punctuation. Let's go ahead and correct that. Um, two quick vocab items. So when we're thinking about solving word problems, we want to think about the situation. And so when we're talking about a situation, it's like, what is happening? And that's what we mean by situation. So we want to think about the, the scenario. Maybe you want to draw it out. Maybe you want to sketch it out. Um, but let's define this term, situation equation. A situation equation directly re relates So we need to consider all the information that's stated or described by the problem. So if the problem involves pizza, we might need to draw pizza. If it is a linear distance question, we, we might want to draw, you know, uh, the distance from home to school. Let's make a bigger building. Uh, we want to define how much is in between. Let's say the distance is eight miles. So we want to know what the whole distance is, and uh, let's say three quarters walked, one quarter ran. So we want to actually sketch it out and figure out what's the situation. The next is a solution. That's where we rewrite the information. We write the info to rearrange it into an equation. And that's where if we, we take the top portion, we said uh, if we rearrange the info, so let's take that one quarter, one quarter equals um, eight miles minus three quarters of eight. So if we took it and rearranged it. Um, and last, 
but not least, this term is going to be real important, inverse operations. Can you say it with me? Inverse? And it should sound a lot like reverse. So we want to talk about operations that undo one another. So let's look at our inverse operations. Addition's inverse operation is subtraction. Multiplication's inverse operation is division. So these are inverted pairs. So when we're talking about rewriting a solution equation, we might want to use an inverse operation. For the visual model, I said 3 quarter plus 1 quarter. Down here, it's um, 1 quarter equals this minus 3, three quarters. So we're going to use the opposite equation. And I have one quick example, and then I'll free you to go to your workbook. So this is a distance situation equation. The beach is seven and a third miles from Webb's house. All right, so I'm going to draw it out. Here is Webb's house. There it is. And here's the beach. Um, I guess I can do a big wave crashing here. Go for palm tree. I'm not going to win any art awards for this, but it is going to help me see the problem. All right, so the whole distance is from here to here is seven and a third miles. So the whole thing is seven and a third miles. He walks part of the way. How much is part? We know now. And he rollerblades the remaining five and seven tenths. Rollerblades five and seven tenths. So we don't know what he does for a part of it, but we do know five and seven tenths. So it doesn't matter if we're going to, let's go from his house. Um, this whole thing is seven, five is probably about here. I'm saying five, seven tenths. He's skating. How far did he walk? So what we want to know is that, that last stretch. This is the walk right here. We, that's the, the info we're looking for. How far did Webb walk? So the first equation I have written is more of a situation. I'm saying that walking plus rollerblading equals seven and a third mile. So for piecing those together to create the whole, this would be our situation. We're reading it just as it's written. The solution equation is where I'm rearranging the, the given info using inverse operations. So I'm going to start with the total, 7 and a third minus 5 and 7 tenths. Now, we can do this. Um, let's look at our common denominators. We don't have common denominators. So I'm going to go ahead and stack this problem. 7 and a third, 5, 7 tenths. Now we can use the least common multiple method, or we can use the opposing denominator as our multiplier, which we're going to go ahead and do. So I need some multipliers. And I need to create a new fraction. So use your two denominators. 3 times 10 is 30. 3 times 10 is 30. We want to make denominators of 30. 3 times 10, 3 times 7. 7 times 3 is 21. Now we'll use the opposing denominator and bring it up as the multiplier. 3 times 10, 1 times 10, I get 10 thirtieths, 21 thirtieths. Ah, we've got a problem. Can I subtract? Because remember, this is a subtraction problem. Can I subtract 21 from 10? Not easily. I'm going to need to borrow. So I'm going to go all the way out to my whole number. That turns into 6. 
And since I'm working with a denominator of 30, I'm going to send a 30, 30 over here. 30 over 30. Let's add it up. 10 plus 30 is 40 over 30. Now, can I subtract 21? Yes. 40 take away 21. What do you get? We can round that and we can estimate. This is where our estimating comes in. 21 is about half of 40, so it's going to be around half. Half of 40 is 20. It's going to be one less, so we'll end up with 19 thirtieths. 19 thirtieths. Um, 6 minus 5 is 1. Don't forget about your whole number. So I can say it's 1 and 19 thirtieths. If we pull this up, that's going to be our answer. Now, what we can do to check is plug it back in. We can plug it back into this problem to work it out. Now, let's use our estimating skills. What's half of 30? 15. So this is close to 15 thirtieths or close to 30 thirtieths. We can we get to estimate this. So let's look at our original problem. Five and seven tenths. This is almost six. And seven and a third is almost seven. So something plus six is seven. So it would be about one, right? So the answer would have to be around one. Is the real answer greater than one, less than one, or exactly one? Well, I have one. And if I have a fraction, it means I'm greater than one, so slightly greater than one. I'm actually greater than one and a half. So we can use that estimation skill to figure out what the answer should be near. If I came up with two and 19 thirtieths, I would know I'm wrong because of an, an estimation error. So when you're looking at these word problems, look at it from multiple sides, draw out a picture, and then use what you've already learned about denominators to work it out. All right, um, for me to put up more examples would be very time consuming. So what I'm going to recommend is that you head over to your workbook, page 27 and 28. Um, if you're really looking for extra practice or you have a tutor, you can use homework page 23. But today I'd like you to look at page 27 and 28 and get started and we will review a couple of those problems when we're live. All right, thank you.